Hey Jacko, in today's video I'll show you how to power up, so grab a cup of coffee, or tea, and follow along. Now let's get digital. So to make this effect you will need a clip, I'll just shorten it, and you'll see why in a moment. Going to the fusion page, you will be adding a magic mask node, this is studio only, if you don't have the studio version you will have to do this manually, by using the polygons. Add magic mask. Select the object, something like that, we'll do the tracking, once that is done, I'll be back. Now the magic mask is done, as you can see the subject is isolated from the background, if you do this manually with the polygons you can, it'll just take you a lot longer. Ideally you would color correct the clip before you do the effect, if you didn't do that, you can put a color correct node or a curve node to make a simple adjustment, so you can simply use the color curves to get a different look, maybe something like this. Now let's continue on with the effect. Now we want to make an outline of this shape, to do that we'll go to the effects, templates, edit, and use the paper edge. We'll do this after the magic mask because we only want to affect this shape, it looks something like this by default. So you have the shadow, if you don't want it, you can simply disable it. I'll leave the shadow as is, but I'll change the shape, how this looks like. Now this is a bit too much, we'll have to soften it up, so let's add a bitmap. Now with the bitmap selected, I'll adjust the soft edge, so we have some softness on the outside, and we'll use a fast noise node. So this will be our flame, I'll simply max the details, adjust the contrast and the brightness, adjust the scale, I'll use 10 for the scale, seed will be 1 and 0.5 for the seed rate. Now I want some movement in the fast noise node, the seed does that, but this is pretty much in place. I want this to move up, and to do that I'll animate the Y value. I'll put this to 0 at the beginning, and 1 at the end. So this will now move up, as you can see now it looks like this. Now this will be behind the subject, so this will be on top. So let's add a merge node, connect the fast noise, and switch the input with Ctrl T and display it. So now we have the power up behind the subject. And let's change the color to a yellow one, so maybe something like this. And now what we also want is this power up to be in the front. This time I'll use edge detect, connect it from the magic mask, I'll change the mode to grayscale, adjust the width, the brightness, and the gamma, so I only have some of it show up. We can also use the filters and either use the light or the dark side. I'll use the same fast noise node, so I'll copy it, right click and paste an instance of it, so that if I change the color or any other setting, this will be applied in both nodes. Now if I connect the edge detect to the fast noise, this is what we get, this is not what we want, we just want a selection. We just want the white parts to be in the fast noise node. So we'll use a second bitmap, I'll simply copy this one, paste it, connect it, it's still the same, so in the bitmap I'll change the channel to a red one. And now we can simply adjust this to get the outlines. We now need a second merge node, so I'll apply it here, connect it, this will now be in the front, and we'll simply change the apply mode to maybe lighten. If you use overlay or soft light, you can also do that, except in this case you will have shadows, and I'll show you that in a bit. So what we need to do now is to put this over the original clip. So I'll simply do it like so, and make sure that this is on the top. So Control T, and this is the result. Now if I go into this node and change the apply mode 
to overlay, you can see that we have shadows. And if I use soft light, you'll also see shadows. But you can use different modes depending on what you want. So I made some adjustments to the settings. Now let's take a quick look over the clip. You may have some issues when it comes to the overlapping and how you can fix those, especially if you don't want this on the table and on the laptop screen. In this case, you will simply take a polygon, go to the beginning, make a simple cutout, just like that, adjust the soft edge, and then you will connect the polygon to the merge node. And simply invert the selection so you'll have the power up on the subject and not on the table. And then if you need to, you can also animate the polygon by moving the points. Now if something looks off in your example, like in this case we have some blue, just play around with the settings by lowering the contrast, maybe increase the brightness so you get rid of it. And that's how you can make a simple power up in the winch resolve. And if you like this video, you know what to do. And if you do, it'll mean a lot to me. I'm Simon and until next time Jackals, keep it digital. Thank <laughs> you.